Hi, and welcome to JD's Longbox. I'm your host, JD. For this 60 second review, we're taking a look at Brass, published in 1996 by Wildstorm and Image Comics. Brass was created by Jim Lee and Richard Bennett. The story was by Richard Bennett, with dialogue by Aaron Weisenfeld. The pencils and the inks were by Richard Bennett, and the colors were by Monica Bennett. This three-issue miniseries follows the origin of Herschel Goldenstein, a slacker on the run from the law. He stumbles into an unguarded lab that houses a cyber virus where he's unwittingly transformed into the hulking war machine, Brass, and the pursuing officers are reforged into equally unique cyborgs. The major drawing point of this series is Richard Bennett's art. His style is uniquely recognizable with his melding of the living with the mechanical. His forms are more machine than H.R. Geiger's Xenomorph, and yet significantly more organic than other mecha like Transformers or Robotech or even James Cameron's Terminator. Bennett layers in so much detail, but it's his lack of restraint that is his downfall. There's so much going on in every image that the crowded panels make it hard to follow the story. Monica Bennett's colors stick dutifully to gray and green, but still have the needed separation to clearly read the images. But I would have expected with the early computer coloring that was available at the time, those drab colors would have been better used to push the mundane world into the background, and brighter, bolder colors would have been used to pop brass and the other cyborgs off the page. Unfortunately, the writing is just as drab. Dialogue acts as lengthy exposition that explains how the cyber virus works, to rewrite its host's DNA and rebuild them as cybernetic organisms that retain the host's memories but reprogrammed with the urge to fight and kill and with armored bodies loaded with heavy munitions needed to take down whatever they face. Cameos from other Wildstorm characters are sprinkled throughout the series, but they don't contribute to the Spartan plot. The writing gets a 7. The colors gets an 8.5. The inks gets an 8.5. And the pencils gets a 9, but this would have easily been a 10 if the pages weren't so crowded. This adds up to an 83%. I was looking forward to reviewing this book on the art alone, the series seems tailor-made by Jim Lee and Richard Bennett specifically to showcase his outstanding biomechanical designs, but the story only serves to get Herschel from point A to point B with his transformation into the living weapon Brass. After all, this is just an origin story. Wildstorm does have a six-part miniseries that continues Herschel's story, but mostly lacking Bennett's art. Both are worth checking out if you like heavy action and crazy robot designs. I hope you liked this 60-second review. Be sure to like and subscribe, and then check out some of my other videos. Until next time, I'm JD, and this box is closed.